one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the exterior review of this 1986 Mercur XR4 Ti. Made, hand built in Köln, Germany. Köln, I don't know how to say it. I just know that's where it came from. Awesome little car with a 2.3 liter turbo EFI motor. Came in the Mustangs, different things like that. Very easy and cheap to work on. Um, great little car, it's a light project. It's complete, it's here. Um, I did a interior video already that you can see. There'll be a link down in the description below. And you can go check out the interior and all that. I'll show you the motor, engine, all that. This is about underneath, outside, and all the dings, dents, anything like that wrong with the outside of this car. Um, I'm gonna show you everything about it. I mean, you can check out my website, oneownercarguy.com. On there, there'll be about 60, 80 pictures and a bunch of um, write-ups and videos and everything will be there, oneownercarguy.com. Okay, underneath the car. I try and get it around it in about a minute. And then get down underneath, it's set for a while. You can see it's clean, this is a non-rusty California car. It has a pretty unique navigation thing on it. This here is cracked, uh, so a little bit of fix it on that. This is bent, the plate holder. Um, it looks to have been painted at some point for sure on the front nose piece here. I don't know about the rest of it. Um, it doesn't seem so actually. But this has came off some way. I don't know how factory that is underneath, but it looks like they tried to hold it back on. Um, slight scratches and stuff across the hood. I mean, it's black. It looks good. Decent looking. There's a stain here that ain't going to come out no matter if you buff it or not. You might be able to sand it out. Um, this little thing here is kind of, you can see the paint on it kind of changing. The paint's are changing. This here has got some burn through on the clear coat and such. One shoe looks nice. There is some that, more marks in it. Um, it's got this stuff that was over the window that'll come off. It's just you got to sit there and actually take it off. And whoever's going to do this, you put some decal remover type stuff on it, this stuff come right off. But whoever's going to do this is likely going to paint it. Sunroof and all that, everything works. Um, clear coat burn and such on the paint. A little foggy-ish on the paint right there. Kind of dried out a lot. Antenna's broken. Um, and there's a crack right here. Now I kind of started at a different area, so I'm going to go back down this side and try and keep track because I don't usually do these reviews like this. I went out of character. Lenses look great. A little chip right there. Great shape. Um, light project, you can see right here, the red paint or sticker type stuff is flaking off in between there. Um, but all the cladding or spoilers and such is looking great. Bumper covers. Lens is broken in there. Chips right there on it. This lens is also cracked. Tires have been sitting around for a while and that one looks pretty bald. Um, I'm going to say it needs a set of tires. I mean, honestly, it's just been sitting too long. It's probably flat spots and such. I'm not a fan of these tires. Uh, miscellaneous little crack right there in that piece. Little chips and scratches and such here and there. Little chip there. Chip. This is more of that plastic stuff. It come off. It was all over the window. We got that. A little bit of paint came off there. A couple chips here and there. That's just a little bit bent right there. That could be pushed in and glued in there and look a lot better. All the cladding though is in great shape in there. Um, over here, look how this goes. Pretty cool with the jack hole or whatever. Um, you can see dry rot here, so yeah, tires are needed. This insulation and under the tire thing is hanging down. It's because it's cracked up in there, I hope you can see. So, the inner fender cover or whatever. This is a kind of how it's supposed to be, but it kind of shrunk up maybe just a tad bit. Needs a little pulling on this way or that way or heating up. I don't think that screws factory. It looks like he's got a little ding right there. This one's here, but you see what the deal is on that. Around the sides, down the cladding, very nice condition. Um, it's not a perfect car by any means, 
but it's a nice clean little non rusted up little car now I'm gonna show you dings and such um, I don't know what that is like a little plug cover yeah should be one of those broken antenna told you that um, dings and dents not much to speak of but there's a ding here Ooh, scratch there ding here ding here and probably a couple I didn't see there um, somewhere let's look down this side for the heck of it tiny ding here I showed you that it's been repainted there's a tiny run right there scratch chip 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 around the door lock ding and that is pretty much how this car looks. I don't know what else to tell you on the outside. Uh, miscellaneous clear coat dried up there. Mirror covers and everything are nice. It's a nice clean car. All the plastic pieces and stuff that are supposed to be here are looking good. Um, it's just not all rusted up. It's a clean car. Right there you got a lens that's bad. For the blinker indicator. Uh, a little scuff along the side there. It didn't indent it, but it's a scuff. Okay, these can be sanded down and cleared, or sanded and buffed. Headlight restoration type $29 thing at Walmart, or do it yourself for next to nothing. Okay, so that's the car. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Almost like a phone dial type wheel. Put the Ford thing on it. I hate to be the part one to part this car out. It's so cheap it's pitiful. I don't know if I'll make it to eBay because it's so damn cheap that I'm going to just Hope not to have to buy an eBay ad for 100 bucks. Uh, if you're interested, call me up, Nathan, 406 546 8748. Reach me anytime. Um, other than that, like I've given you the website, subscribe on YouTube. This is faded, chippy faded here. Subscribe on YouTube, and um, def I don't think the rear wiper works. The switch for it is kind of stuck, and you can't push it. You'll see it on the interior video. On the interior video, if I mumble that. I love the little swoopy swales and stuff on the bumpers, the spoiler kit, the cladding. It just looks, makes the car look amazing. Okay, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. You can click down the link below and see the next video, which is the interior. We'll talk to you.